Hey, what is up guys? My name is Steve Grish, and welcome back to another episode of Gone Home. Uh, I'm actually, I'm really enjoying playing this game so far. Like, it's actually, it actually has been kind of cool, it's been kind of fun. We're learning about young love. It's very, very, it's very sweet. It's, it's, honestly, it's pretty beautiful, honestly. But anyway, um, so, where were we? Alright, so, we're, we're gonna go into that in a little while. I don't really like the idea of going there, but fuck it. We gotta do it anyway if we wanna get through this game. Anyway, so, um, what are we doing? What were we doing? Uh, well, yeah, we still gotta figure out where Samantha went, because she's not here. But there's lights on in certain rooms and stuff like that that make me think that she was here, like, at some point. That's a lie to mom and dad situation, but it was so worth it. The girls on stage were just so loud and real and awesome, and everybody was moving together like no one. Two, what? The Psycho House Girl, the coolest stuff about being Psycho House Cool Thing, number one, everybody in the hall thinking you don't know. They're looking at you and whispering as you walk past because that gets blah, 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 blah. Who's that? Costumes, she's... Ske skeletons and devils, cheerleaders from the Smells Like Teen Spirit video. One girl dressed as Jackie Kennedy. Didn't you listen to that? Like, hear that or whatever? Examine comic book. Women Outlaws. Yeah, girl, you get them. What is this? Tear that out. Tear it out. Wipers. Girl Justice Now. This one's for you, Grossman. Captain A. Who's that? Hurt, hurt enough. Kicking against the patriarchy. I don't know. Okay, so essentially they're turning into feminists. From, from what I got with this. Kicking against the Hey, that's... Hey, that's... Not bad. It's not bad. Not at all. That's... They actually got some pretty good ideas. I gotta say, that's... That's a damn good idea. Um... Grossman was the principal. Yeah, that's what it was. We read that, didn't we? Last episode. Jesus. No, 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 no. Whatever you are, if you're something coming up here, you need to stay down there. Fuck you. Thank you. What's this? Where are we going? Oh, God. No way. That's... Different. Pretty cool, honestly. What is this? One nine six three. Oh no! One nine six three. One nine six three. One nine six three. One nine six three. That's the that's the combination of the safe. I guarantee you, it is the combination to the safe. One nine six three. All right, let's just hurry up and get down there, huh? Come on. We're not we're not really hurrying, but you know whatever. One, nine, six, three. Or 1963. Gotta remember that. Got to remember that. 1963. Okay. One, nine, six, three. Boom! That's it! What is this? Uh, hydrogen peroxide? Okay. Uh, oil of clove. Oleum, Cario, I don't really, I, I've heard that before, but I don't know what it is. What is this? Uh, Aquadel? Folic acid? Did, relief of occasional constipation. Oh! It's a laxative if you need to poop real bad. What's this? Dose, what directions, use of syret, solution of morphine. Okay, so, morphine. Morphine and morphine. All right, we're gonna get really hot today, boys. Just kidding. Oscar Mason, return to sender. Mary Greenbrier. Maybe Miss Greenbrier. Hmm. Maybe Miss Greenbrier was a. Um, who am I thinking? So, Richard Greenbrier was our dad's dad, so maybe this is our grandmother. Maybe our grandmother. Do you, oh, Jesus, how am I supposed to read this shit? I write what shall be my last appeal to go unanswered one way or, or 
the other, I feel a prisoner as on an island with no jailer, no human soul for commune on only. My one mind examining itself endlessly, endlessly searching for relief in the years since transgression. I have sought no absolution, only have love, only love, something forgiveness. In good faith, I have removed myself from all temptation, sacrifice to prove my commitment. I can imagine since mother's passing, I have yearned for nothing more than the acknowledgement of my own kin to be healed as hailed fucking something as human again treated there we go F figured it out to breathe the air of human spirit once more by grace over a wretch like me could be saved but I do not expect it if no response is received I shall henceforth accept my sentence and one day simply cease to be with the brother's love always Oscar Mason Okay, so this was our great uncle. Is that would that be right? Is a syringe? Right there. there we go. Is this Bill? What the fuck is that? Warning not to be used for symptoms of appendicitis, abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, or present except on competent medical advice. Okie dokie. What is this? Another syringe. Kate, this is a tourniquet or some tubing or something, I bet. Yeah. Okay, so what it. I mean, what did, what did we get from this? Just more knowledge or something? Like, I mean, nothing, I didn't really get anything from it. Did you guys get anything from that? Not really. Okay, so now, where are we going? This way, this way, this way, this way. Now we go to the creepy room. Wait, where did we get the combination anyway? I don't remember where we got the combination. Where did we get the combination from? We got the combination. Oh, and on that note, that's what it was. Okay, so now we're gonna go to this creepy fucking room that's kind of green. And eerie. Jesus Christ, that's really freaky. Turn that light on. Fuck. What was this? Guardian angels above. Bless this house with lots of love. All right, did it. We finally got around this way. Okay, what do we got here? Grab the textbook. In Espanol. Aha. Ah, no, uh. No queso, por favor. Otra vez. Solamente salsa. Don't really know why I fucking said that, but whatever. Hey Lonnie, sorry my mom was such a bitch last night. She's hardly ever around since her forest is like an hour away. And then when she is home, she takes it out on you like because you're not a member of the family. She knows she won't call her on it and I'm sorry. Uh huh, that's okay. I know she's just jealous of our cool and free, free wheeling lifestyles. I feel sorry for you. I'm lucky my mom lives in Florida. You have to have a mom every day. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. She lives with her dad. That's it. I gear. I bet she lives with her dad. Her mom. I bet her mom and dad are divorced. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to bring up the mom. Shut up, Thunder. Sorry, I didn't mean to bring up the mom thing like that. I know I shouldn't complain. No, I'm being serious. My mom is a psycho Christian, and her new husband Don is a complete tool. Living in Florida with him is our eternal punishment in my mind. So you wouldn't rather live in, with your mom in Florida? Oh, that's a big resounding fuck no. Do, do, do. Anything? Dear head conservation of Greenbrier, due to your exemplary management of the Flintlock prescribed burn operation last year and the services needed for experienced personnel to direct regional operations, we would like to offer you the position of regional conservation management director. Woo! Good job, Ma. Good job. Good, good job. Very proud of you. Very, very proud. <sighs> Something stuck in the ear vent. 
what is this? Examine stub. N national tickets. Or what is this? No exchanges, no refunds, no cameras, Civic Auditorium, Earth, Wind, and Fire. Oh! Nice little concert. Put that down over here so we don't lose it. Huh? Very good. Wait, well, mom and dad can also see what you've been in, or maybe more so just mom. Yeah, 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 yeah. What is this? Read the note. Sam, this skull was the coolest thing I found in Mexico, and it was like three bucks. American. I love it. Merry Christmas, miss you. Treasure it always. Whoops. I uh, wonder if it's one of the skulls. It's like over on the, like in the foyer area. Right? Creepy, creepy, creepy dining room. Creepy, 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 creepy dining room. Mom already, how many purses does mom have? Jesus. What, why? Why do you need that many purses? Why do you need that many purses? What is this? Read the note. Hi, Jan. I got two tickets for Earth, Wind, and Fire on Thursday, but my girlfriend says she doesn't want to. So, her taste in music rears its ugly head again. So, that leaves me with an extra ticket that I thought you might be interested in more to than something clearing brush in the freezing rain, right? Rich? Rick. So, was, she, was mom cheating on dad? Ooh, that's pretty. Where is that? Italy? France, maybe? Shut up. Shut up. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Hi, Mom and Dad and Sam. The vacation is weird. As you can see, the Catholic Church still has a lot of money left over from the Middle Ages. Oh, my God. I've gotten to see all of the art, including the Sistine Chapel ceiling and the sculptures by Michelangelo, Donatello, and the rest of the Ninja Turtles. Ah, <laughs> very funny. Mom really will really have to come back together. I would love to be here with someone who really appreciates the history behind everything. Also, Sam, they have various relics as in pieces of important dead people, so you should probably come too. Next step, Barcelona. Calm down, Dad. I won't get bored, gored by a bull, probably. Uh, so that's, she was in... Italy, but she's about to go to Spain. Oh, I'm sure Spain's a beautiful place. Open the folder. Hey, what we got here? Examine the notes, Sam. Since you refused to hear us out this afternoon, your mother and I are putting this in writing so that we are absolutely clear. You are grounded for the rest of the month from social and telephone privileges. He couldn't spell privileges right. <laughs> and that's probably why his books haven't sold. And from using your car for anything except going to and from school. We understand that you are going through what you are going through, but we can't allow you to continue with this kind of behavior at school. And clearly, once your privileges are reinstated, we can't allow you to have your bedroom door closed while Lonnie is at the house. This is the last word of the master. Get back on course. So this won't have to happen again. Did he really just say the master? That's weird. I'm a dad, and I, I don't think I've ever said that kind of weird shit. Uh, discipline referral distributing inappropriate materials on school grounds phone call to students parents out of school suspension for four days M were the materials was it that that's bullshit I had an interesting talk with mom and dad tonight mm -hmm. when you were never gonna need to have I mean you've known right I've known yep I've known since, like, she -Ra. Mom and Dad didn't, I guess. But they saw the zine and the stuff on the locker, and they were like, is there something we should know about you and Lonnie? And so here's the thing. I was prepared for them to be mad, or disappointed, or start crying, or something. But Why? they were just in denial. You're too young to know what you want. You oh. and Lonnie are just good friends. You just haven't met the right boy. It's a phase. That's what I didn't see coming. That they wouldn't even respect me enough to believe me. Well, joke's on them. Because they're in for one very long phase. Ooh. Uh, eh. It's really kind of sad. Like, I mean... First off, I think it's bullshit that she got in trouble. I mean... Truth, truth be told, I, I think it's kind of messed up that she got in trouble 
for for this thing over here. I mean, I know it's at school and all, but I still think it's kind of messed up. I, I, that's stupid. First off, congratulations, Janice Greenbrier, Regional Director, and I say congratulations. Oh my god. Because, come on, you're going to take the job, right? What are you waiting for? An engraved invitation? Call them back. But in the meantime, let's discuss this little outing you had with one favorite flan flannel-clad hunk. What a blast. Well, you sound like you're needing a lot, in you're, you're reading a lot into an innocent night out. You're sure there's something there? You said he has an out-of-town girlfriend. You're sure they're not serious? Okay. So we have to figure out when we'll see each other next in person. Enough with the letters. I owe you a congratulating margarita boss lady soon. Carol. Carol must be a co-worker. What is this? Grab, uncrump. Don't give up on this, honey. An accident of war. Terrence Greenberg. Aww. She was trying to be encouraging. That's really nice. I mean, it really is kind of nice. You know, get some kind of encouragement. I mean, his writing started doing really shitty for a while. But hey, you know, whatever. Let's see. Dude, there are buttons all over this house. The gets. The gets? What the fuck is a get? What is a get? A stupid person? I think a get. You mangy get. There it is, see? Stupid person. Creepy, 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 creepy. Okay, so I need to turn on some lights, but where's the light switch? There it is. Yay! We have light now. Perfect. Let's go in the kitchen. Anything in here? No, I'm gonna leave the lights on. Cassette tape. What is this? Ratmobile, some special. Okay, here we go for some more music. You ready? Okay, enough of that. That was that's okay, but whatever. Uh, grab book. An accidental savior. Another unknown dimension literature. November 21st. John Russell knows that the president's life hangs in the balance. Who, but who would believe him? Okay. Honestly, it kind of looks like Samantha was just here by herself for quite some time, honestly. Like, maybe, maybe that's not the case, but it sure looks like that because I've seen like three or four pizza boxes around the house. Let's see. Read the note. Sam's schedule working at Crown Burger on Bethel Road. Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, 3 to 7. Saturday, 12 to 6. Okay. Read invitation. Mr. and Mrs. Jonathan Blair request the honor of your presence at the marriage of their daughter, Helen Margaret, to Mr. Richard Moore's Peter Mac. Peter Mac. Something or other. Okay. Open the fridge. It's like nothing in here. Nothing. What is this? Uh, frozen spinach. I actually like spinach. Spinach is really good. It's very healthy for you. Nothing. What was that? Anything in the microwave? Nope. Nobody was cooking anything. Open the door. Open the door. Nothing. 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 What if you, What happened in here? Like, the sink is missing. Were they doing... Were they trying to... I don't know. Freaking... What, were they doing some renovations or something like that? I don't know if that's what it was, but holy shit, man. Like, stuff's everywhere. Ah, uh, pantry! How about that? Like, it looks like somebody was just here, and they got kind of hungry and stuff. So, potato chips. Okay, so. Alright, let's get out of there. Let's see what's over here. Read the letter. Congratulations on your position, dear blah, 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 blah. Okay, so she got the position. That's good, Ma. Put that back. Alright, what is this? Anniversary trip? Rick's wedding? Cancel that. Forest trip? Okay. I want to look at the map. Okay, so we're in the kitchen right now. We're in the kitchen. Pantry, kitchen, dining room. 
Okay, so we can go up a floor. The only place we haven't been is the attic. Servants' quarters. See? See? Servant quarters. That's, yep, that's exactly what I said. Alright. Where are we looking at? Open door. Ooh, dark, 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 dark. Garage! Grab the book. The partial part. He writes a lot. If this massive finds, missive finds you well. But you, since we discovered tattered copies of your accidental series at a church rummage sale in Long Branch, New Jersey, we've been trying to track down the author of this weird and dark American outsider. We look forward to embarking. Okay, well, apparently they've. Some people have liked the book, but he can't. He just can't get like a certain people to sell it. So apparently, what is this? Sam, your mother and I will be away for a long weekend, celebrating our anniversary June 3rd through the 7th. We will be camping in the gorge, but we will give you a call on the way home. Sorry, the kitchen is still. My renovation. Never trust a contractor. Forty dollars is on the table to order pizza while we're gone. Be good. Okay. Yeah. So. so yeah. That's exactly. What I hate that. I hate it. So. What is this? R O T C. Wait a minute. I asked Lonnie what she had to do to get ready to ship out for basic training. She said, "Not a lot, really. You're not allowed to bring anything with you. You have no possessions." No contact with the outside world while you're in basic. Okay. You just train hard every day, and yep. then you deploy from there. So, they'll just send her away. To who knows where. The other side of the country. The other side of the world. My mind, like, can't process it. She's really going to be... gone. Just gone. Okay, so that's not uh, that's not really the case anymore necessarily. I mean, it could happen, but you still get to contact home every once in a while, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so yeah, like my uh, my hypothesis was correct. Um, Mom and dad are gone. Sam's been here by herself, and they left her money for pizza, and they are renovating the house. Uh, where's the next one? Oh, I need to go to the greenhouse or something like that. Whatever that is. Bathroom, greenhouse, the sea. Oh, what? Booted out. I'm going away for. A, I'm going away. Show for Lonnie D. A going away show for Lonnie D. The last show ever. Lonnie had her going away show with her band tonight. She's so incredible on stage. Yeah, she is. When she was singing, I could practically forget everything. We only had 48 hours left. That I don't know what comes next. That I can't live without her. Hmm. Then she dedicated the last song to me. I couldn't take it. I was out on the curb in the alley, sobbing till my ribs hurt. I would follow her anywhere, Katie. But I can't. Where she's going. After a long time, she found me. She said she was sorry. She said, I wish things could be different. I just wanted to make you happy. I said, I don't think you can anymore. Oh, no. Don't say that. That's sad. Okay, I'm going to address that here in a second. I want to read this. Barcelona. Hi, Mom, Dad, and Sam. I've had a wonderful time on the beaches of Barcelona. Dad and Sam think you would like the gaudy, gaudy architecture. It is from a strange alien world. I'm headed to my final destination, Amsterdam. For how long? That depends. I am running low on money. I'll look for a cheap standby ticket and call you when I'm headed home. Sorry for the short notice. Can't wait to see you all again. It'll be good to be home. Love, Katie. So, with that, why? Uh, apparently something happened. Sam must have been upset or something. So she opened up this little secret compartment. This is ship. And like crumpled it up. But mom and dad are supposed to be gone June 3rd through the 7th. What day is it today? August 20th, 1994. Okay, so I was thinking that maybe this would explain where the parents went and stuff. What? 
really confused. Basement key. Spare key hidden under. Okay. Alright. Uh, I'm still trying to figure it. Like, we're still looking for our family. But we don't. We still don't really know where they went to. Uh, turn faucet on. Magazine. Plus toilet. Anything under there? Oop, can't even look at it. Perfect. Uh, nothing in here except some toilet paper and hygiene stuff. Okay. So let's go out here now. Oh. It's a nice little room, yeah. Okay. What is that? Bix? Ajax, yeah. E. Anything over here at all? Guess not. Anything in the dryer? Oh, cool. Sam, I wish I knew how to explain it better. The army is this thing I grew up with. It's part of me. My dad's army friends are like family. I've always known it was where. I'd end up. I'd never thought of it any other way. I wish things would be different. Could be different. Maybe someday when I'm settled at a base and you're done with college and you're a famous writer and I can rebuild a tank engine with my eyes closed, things will be different and we can be together until then. Lonnie. Oh, It's really sad, man. Let's go in here. No light in here, like, at all? That's not creepy. Nope, everything's fine. Not creepy at all. Maybe... Oh. What's this? What's that? Taking notes on it. Close that door. Open that door. Exam pen. Strong pines. A couple's counseling retreat. Yeah, so apparently... Grab manuscript. Nice. Okay, so he was writing it, and apparently they were going through some marriage problems. Dear Kaz, I can't tell you what a joy it is to see John Russell back in print. Thank you very much for sending along copies of the new editions. The cover art is really something. I know you've said the unknown to me. Blah, 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 blah. I hope this might be an exciting new direction. Okie dokie. All right, don't care much for that. That's, yep. Examine page. Cover copy. It's been almost 20 years since Sean Russell heard the call. Twice he saved a president's life. He's practically forgotten the days. The future of danger and excitement. The days where he mattered. So when this familiar rip in time opens in front of him and his handlers peer out, he doesn't hesitate. Is the president in danger? No. The life you save this time will be your own. It's not a bad premise for a book. It's actually pretty neat. What's this? Where we'll do it. Midnight, June 5th, final preparations are complete. The foyer under the stairs. Secret door. Ooh, boy, oh boy, we agreed oh boy. our last night together would be our happiest ever. And we'd forget tomorrow was going to come at all. It worked for a while. We had a good time seeing Oscar off. Then ran oh, up to the attic dead. to look through our photos. To find one for Lonnie to take with her. Aww. And looking at them... I realized they were all in the past, and there wouldn't be any more. I didn't know what I was going to do, and I cried. Aww, Sam. And she held me. She said she knew it was hard, but life would move on. I said I didn't want my life to keep moving without her. That's when she cried too. Aww. I was so exhausted. I must have fallen asleep like that, in her arms. In the morning, I woke up, and I was finally alone. Hmm. Sad, man. Yeah, so that is where the skull came from, so... Alright. Ooh. Oh my god. What the fuck were you doing? Possession and exorcism. What were you planning on doing here? Oh my god, what? Who the hell is this? Oscar. that. What is it? Ah! Attic key! Yay! The sunset light in this house is 
It's the saddest thing I've ever seen. Hmm. Oh, the night is terrifying. When I'm in the attic, it almost feels like Lonnie could still be here. Mm -hmm. She's just downstairs. I'm just waiting to hear her pull down the hatch and come running up. Hmm. Maybe I'll go up to the attic. And wait. Hmm? Okay. So, they were doing... Of course, they were doing Ouija board stuff. Right? I, I, we'll get back to this whole attic thing. They were doing Ouija board stuff and everything. And they were trying to perform a seance. Are y'all crazy? Are, are you really crazy? That's... No. We're throwing all this away. Like, get... No. And I'm taking this candle with me. Nope, I'm going to put it right there. I'm going to take the picture. See? We're taking this picture, and we're putting it somewhere. We're your grubby little hands. Don't need to get hold of it. See? See? You've done something, apparently. So, we're going to open this drawer all the way. Thank you. And we're going to throw it in there. Oop. Come on, come on. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, come on. Yeah. Oh, almost got it. Close the drawer. Nope, that's not gonna work. Uh, here we go. Back over there. Yep. And then close that door. Crazy asses. We perform a seance to bring back Oscar. Are you insane? It's like some kind of satanic ritual shit. Now, they wonder why this house is called the Psycho House. But anyway, let's go up to the fucking attic, shall we? So, either Mom and Dad left pretty quickly for some reason. Like, maybe Dad left. Who's... Wait a minute. No. No. Wait. No. No. Is this mom and dad's room? Hold on. Ma yeah, this is mom and dad's room. Okay, so... This is... This must be dad's drawer, right? Mom left in a hurry. Dad kind of left in a bit of a hurry. Shut up. I, maybe they went to go look for Sam. Maybe that's what they were doing. Okay. Here we go. Discovering the truth, everyone. Let's find out, huh? She slept up here. She must have slept up here a lot. Who's this? Sam, always remember what we had. I love you, Lonnie. Stay strong. Kick ass. Hmm. Oh my god. Katie. Uh, I fell asleep in the attic. In Lonnie and my old spot. And I missed the first two calls. I just barely caught the third one before the machine got it. And it was Lonnie. On a payphone. She'd been on the bus to basic. And she said she couldn't... She couldn't think of anything but me. And us. And that she couldn't go through with it. With the army and being a part and all of it. And so she got off the bus in Salem. She said, Sam, I want you to pack up everything you can and get in your car and come find me. And let's just drive until we find somewhere for us. And she asked me if I could do that. And I said, yes. Yes. Oh. Dude, that's awesome. Okay, so Sam went off with Lonnie. That's what happened. Read letters to Katie. Katie, I'm so sorry that I can't be there to see you in person, that I can't tell you all this myself. But I hope as you read this journal and you think back, that you'll understand why I had to do what I did. And that you won't be sad. And you won't hate me. And you'll just know that I am where I need to be. I 
love you so much, Katie. I'll see you again. Someday. Love, Sam. Alright. Well, I'm, I'm not going to watch the credits and stuff like that. I just, I'm, I'm not one to really do that. But uh, that was actually a pretty good game. I actually, I actually kind of enjoyed that. I mean, it may have been kind of a little gushy and stuff like that. It, there are a lot of parts that are pretty creepy. But an interesting little puzzle game. So it was an interesting little game. I think it was kind of fun. Um, so, yeah, uh, that's, I, well, apparently that's where we're going to end it because there's no more to the game. How about that? Awesome. We actually completed the game. That's great. It was a great game. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked this video, leave a like. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment down in the comment section. Let me know what you guys thought about this video or this whole series, this whole game, whatever your thoughts are. I'd love to know what you guys' thoughts are. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!